Hi, I'm Ben Zwickle, and welcome to this screencast on using Mathematica's built-in help. There are at least six ways to use Mathematica's built-in help, which are listed here. The built-in help in Mathematica is very powerful and complete. A formal course in Mathematica can only partially cover just a few topics, but by learning to use the built-in help efficiently, you'll be able to solve a much wider range of more interesting problems on your own. We will briefly go through each of these methods in this screencast. The first and most general purpose way to get help in Mathematica is by searching the Documentation Center. This is the best option when you come across a problem and you're not even sure the right function to use. In this situation, we want to make a 3D plot of a function of two variables. We can access the Documentation Center by going to Help, Documentation Center, and let's bring that on the screen. So here in the search bar, we can enter our search. So we'd like to do a, say, a 3D plot of a function. And here's the search results. The first one, function visualization, sounds promising. OK, what we got is a list of different ways to visualize functions in Mathematica. The first command, plot, is for curves like f of x. Uh, but plot 3D is for surfaces f of x, y. So that's what we'd like. So I can click on plot 3D, and it takes me to the help entry for plot 3D. The first thing we have here is the syntax. Uh, so we need a function, and we need a range of x values and a range of y values. Uh, but also what we get in every Mathematica help um, file is a list of examples. So in this case, we can actually execute this example, and we can rotate the graph around. We can even modify the, the help entry. Um, but most importantly, we can just copy this right into our notebook that we're working on and execute it. And we can modify it uh, to actually match our problem. So that's a great way to get started when you're just not sure how to get going on a problem. And there we have the paraboloid. The next method of accessing help in Mathematica is via the F1 button on your keyboard. So once you get to be more familiar with Mathematica and you know some of the functions already, like plot 3D, all you have to do is type the function. And as long as the cursor is anywhere in that, Word, you can hit F1, and it takes you immediately to the help entry for plot 3D, or the appropriate function. And you get all the same information as before. So that's the fast way to get to where you want to go. The next quick way to get help in Mathematica, assuming you already know the name of the function you're interested in, is to proceed the function name by question mark. So if we put question mark plot 3D and hit shift enter, it right here in our notebook gives us the basic syntax for the function. And if we click on these double arrows to get more help, it takes us directly again to the plot 3D help entry. So let's go back to the presentation. Another thing that makes life easier in Mathematica is auto-completion, which, which is called complete selection, and you can do by control K or command K on a Mac. So suppose I remember a function like plot 3D, but I can't remember if it's an uppercase or a lowercase d. Well, I can type plot 3 and then hit control K, command K on a Mac, and up pops the two things in Mathematica that are plot 3 something. And I can select between them, hit enter, it's an uppercase d. This also works for built-in variables, like suppose I had a data um, 1, 2, I set it equal to um, a list, hit shift enter, but I can't remember, uh, was it data 1, 2 or data 2, 1 that I wanted to bring up? Uh, all I have to do is type data, hit control K, and it gives me all the built-in symbols, including ones that I define, that start with data. And so there's data 1, 2. So it's useful for both built-in functions and variables and for ones you define yourself. And lastly, if you ever can't remember, is it control K, command K, uh, you can access the same thing. So you can type the beginning of your um, word and you can go to edit complete selection and then it says control K and you, or you can just click on complete selection and there you have it there's the two autocomplete options plot 3d uppercase D another form of autocompletion available in Mathematica allows you to autocomplete the function arguments Mathematica calls this make template and instead of control K it's used control shift K 
So suppose we know the name of our function, plot3d, but we can't remember all the arguments. I do Control shift k and it gives me a template, and it says put a function here, put a variable name here, a number for the minimum value, number for the maximum value, and so on. And you can fill those in and execute it. Uh, the other way to access this is to do plot3d, and you can also get it from the menu, edit, make template, and you get the same thing. And we can just type something in here really quickly. x squared x goes between 0, 10, y goes between 0, 10, and execute it. And that's how you can autocomplete function arguments. The final tip I have for Mathematica's built-in help is color coding. Whenever you have a variable or a function which is built into Mathematica or defined by the user, it shows up as black. So some examples are uppercase E for exponential E shows up as black, or plot with an uppercase P shows up as black, or plot 3D shows up as black. But if I misspell something or use a new variable that hasn't been defined, like lowercase e, it shows up as blue. Or if I type plot but I don't use an uppercase p, it shows up as blue. Or if I type plot but I forget that it's an uppercase d at the end, it's still blue. So that's a quick way to see a bug in your program or some other mistake. And there's other ways in which Mathematica's color coding is helpful, but this is probably the most basic. Um, so this concludes our look at the different ways to access help in Mathematica. Thanks for watching.